Welcome to a new segment I call Democracy Now! with Match Truck. Today, friend of the show, Lisi Ayala, and host of A Blend Discussion, is coming here to talk to us about some topics. But first, our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by Lindsey Graham Cologne. It smells like cowardice and betrayal. Do you need to betray someone while smelling like a coward? Try Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Lindsey Graham Cologne today. All right, Lisi. So first up to bat, do you think Trump will get his comeuppance? Okay. So I, I want to believe that Trump will get his comeuppance because I believe that he should get his comeuppance. The, the fact that he's not already in prison to me or already been arrested or had charges brought, I mean, technically he's been impeached, but he still hasn't, the, the trial hasn't began and who knows when it's going to happen. So I don't know. What do you think? Huh. I think that New York canceling his contracts is good. Um, the PGA canceling him with their golf thing. And then Mar-a-Lago saying, you can't live here. I think it's the beginning of a shift. I don't think he's going to be held responsible by the government, but I think he will lose so much money that it will be some sort of retribution. I mean, I, I, I think that that is true. I think that that's good. To me, that is not enough. I feel like the the hurt that he has done to this country, I mean, you know how I am with my bleeding heart patriotism. Uh, I don't think our country can heal if he's allowed to get away with what he's done, especially when he literally tried to overturn an election that he completely lost in all sense of the word. Yeah, totally. I... I kind of like resent this um, incitement to riot because it needs it to be so specific, right? Like they need him to say storm the Capitol because the way he incited it was months of a big lie. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, he, he walked them down. He's like, we're going to walk down. And like, but like he, he's, he always toes the line of being able to be all like, well, I didn't mean it that way. And it's like, he literally, the, to me, the the seditious behavior already began when he was saying that it was a sham if he lost. Like he was say, he was already undermining our election before it ever even happened. Mm-hmm. He was doing it in 2016. I genuinely think he thought he was going to lose and was hoping he could just be like burr, 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 and make money off that and do what he's. But no, instead. Well, all right. Like, let's say you're a betting person. There's $5 on the table. Will he get impeached again? What do you say? I mean, he's already been impeached. It's just, will he get, will he actually be um, convicted? Oh, right. Right. Yeah. All right. $5 on the table. Will he get convicted? I think. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes. All right, cool. I'll Venmo you five bucks if you win. All right, I'll Venmo you five bucks if we both lose. (laughs) (laughs) Great. Thank you so much. And uh, make sure to type in Lindsey Graham at checkout to get 20% off of your treasonous, treasonous scent. (laughs) 